Welcome to my channel, Planner with Maserati. I'm going to be doing a decorate with me in my classic Faith Happy Planner for July 31st through August 6th. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Actually, I'm going to need to take out the monthly as well. So that way, when I do... You know, right here for the scripture, I have it in front of me. Okay, so let's begin. So this page I'm going to need to use twice. So when I'm writing it, the 31st to the 2nd, it's like the first is on this side. I so I need to write it there. The 31st I have to get from my other planner. And yeah, so let's begin. So... Welcome, please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. So this was July, and I have this one for July. So I have everyone in front of me. Or, at least on the side of me. Okay, so for here, I don't think I have the devotional in front of me though. Yeah, I don't have the devotional in front of me. Well, technically, there is nothing for 30, the 31st for the devotional. So let's go ahead and begin with Walk by Faith. Um, I'm going to see if I could use these colors. I may incorporate... Sorry, I keep reaching. Maybe something from here. And I want to use these sheets up. I don't want to just waste them, you know? Not waste, because nothing is wasteful. So let's get this down a little bit because I have a tendency to move them quite a bit. I'm not going to cover up the words, I don't think. Do I really want to though? Should I? Let me see if there's washi tape in here first before I say yes or no. I don't think there is, but I don't need to worry about observation and avocation. Because that's not what I do with this. I don't think there is. If it bothers me, then I'll cover it up. But for right now, I think it's good the way it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to start with the first. Okay, so I'm going to start writing here. I'm going to just get in right, right away. Okay. That way I have the writing part done. So we're focused on August, which is you are, you are a child of God. So, the first day is Romans 8.16. Okay, so I'm going to need this side. The second is Galatians 4.6. Technically, I don't need this side. After I move my notebook. Okay, so the 31st was um, Seeking the Truth. So that's 3 John 1, 4. 1, 4. Okay. So now I could just move this and look at my book. So I don't have to flip over. Okay. So this is the book I just got July 31st out of. It was a three month inside that book. Okay. So the third is Romans eight fourteen. I'm just going to double check real quick. Romans 8.14. Okay. So the fourth is John. 1.12. The fifth is 2 Corinthians 6.18. Double check in. You know how hard it is to write small? For me, I've always been a huge, like, writing letters. So, like, anything I write in print is huge. Uh, like, script, it's just normal. So, Hosea 110 is the six. Okay, so the first one is going to be... So, there's nothing here, so I could decorate that. It's going to be... So, the title, let's see if we have something for that. I'll put that on top real quick. Uh, we're going to look for, like, an empty box. I probably have to get the, um, I might do a black and white box. Because I'm not seeing anything that has a box. 
like here. This is that. It's a box, but it's like the clear, so you have to use either ballpoint pen or a highlighter. Not a highlighter, a marker. There's these, but they're written in. So, what are we... Okay, so it doesn't have what we're doing. Being a child of God, we don't have that in here. Let's pray, trust, Jesus, light, glory, truth. Amen, grace, praise, rejoice, believe. Believe is a good one. I believe, that's for sure. Um, black and white one. Hopefully there's little boxes. And I don't think there is. Well, there's this gold one. I already got it. Oh, we can use this. Just to cover it up. What do you think of that? Ah, uh, no. No, that's not going to work. Okay. But what I can do is use it twice. If I have to. Oh no. It's the very first. It's the first. So what I can do with this. So it's a 10 day. So this whole thing will be a child of God. Okay. So that's all I need to put there. Okay, we can move that out the way. It's looking sloppy. And then this is just a child of God. So I just go like this to each day. Because it's the same thing. So you're not going to see... Like... Me writing it over it wouldn't make any sense so let's decorate it and then we'll come back and i'll see which ones we have to write in i keep moving this paper i can't write sh like like this i have to write like that i don't know why okay so for here okay daily reminders okay i'm looking to see what we got let's look at first Study to be quiet and to be your own. Study. Okay, so this is 1 Thessalonians 4.11. I'm trying to read how small this is. Okay, study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands. I like that. So let's use this. It is clear, so it's gonna. it has lines. I think I'm going to do it here, because it makes it crooked, but it mean, oh no, it's not that crooked. It looks pretty good, so I like it down here. I was going to put it here or here, but it's too wide, but I kind of like it down here, because like you're studying, you want to be quiet. Okay, so here I'm going to put... see like what stands out as far as this okay so we're gonna do prayers and praises above it so I'm working above what I just did so any prayers and praises I think I'm gonna do Hold on, I don't know what is what my throat today. Okay, so here's a good one. Reflect on time, on the time God rescued you. So I'm going to use that one for below. Right there. Okay. So I'll journal that later today. The next question is, what is 
Okay, I cannot see this. I don't know if it's just me. What is a verse that brings you hope? Um, let's see what other ones I have first. See where it says, write your favorite, list your favorite prayer below? That would be kind of hard. Write a testimony, God, God's faithfulness. I'm just trying to see what stands out first. Okay, so what does forgiveness look like? I like that one. So these are going to be things that I put on the bottom. It's not going to be always because I don't have a lot of these. But it's a good way to start off your, like, journaling. So I'm going to put this one down here. So I'm skipping, like, a day. And then, should I do two for this one? Top three this week. Okay. So this one is going to go to the next one. I like the color scheme. Do you like brown and pink together? I do. Like the muted pink and brown together is very pretty. Okay, so that takes care of that. So here I'm looking at... I kind of like this. Just keep in mind there's nothing really that's going to go here. But I kind of like it like on the line and then like blooming out. And the same thing with this one. This is the same one, but I like how it blooms out. So that's what we are. We're, we're blooming. See how that looks? I, I like, I don't know what about it. I just like it. I kind of want to put one here or one here. Because I have one here, maybe one here. One here and one here. Because there's quite a bit of them. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do one here. I'm going exactly on the line. So it blends in together. I'll do one here again. I'm trying to go exactly on the line, I should say. Not exactly. And then one at the end. I think that'll look cute. See, I'm going like on the line as much as I can. And then like that. I kind of like that look. I don't know what it is. Okay, is there anything in the back? I'm looking for something here. Which I think I just been back here. Um. These are cute, but I think they're too wide. But let's try this one. Or let's try a brown one. I'm not going to use these because this is more of color. And I just think it's going to look funny together. Seeing God's hand in. Okay, so that was definitely crooked. Okay. A little bit better. Okay, let's cut it. Okay, so yeah, I like that. And then I just take that out. Stick it in the garbage. Okay, so I like that. Now I'm going to bring the tablet. Hopefully it's charged. I don't need this, so I can put that up there. Okay, so I'm going to sign in real quick. So we're doing, like I said, um, Child of God. So let me get out of this video before I get copyrighted and make noises. Okay. Bible. So what I'm going to do is bring this one underneath. Like so. So it's going to look like one. So that way I can write out the devotionals. With black ink. Okay, so I'm going to bring this closer. 
You should be able to see it. I hope the screen doesn't, like, not time out, but, like, blink in and out. So we're going to go into plans. We're in here, which is the child of God. You'll know by, because it's got, like, that hello. See, of course, it's going to do that. Okay, so we're going to go to day one. Okay, there you go. So day one is uh, Deuteronomy. I don't know why I'm acting like I can't write today. 6, 9. And then the next one is going to be Psalms. 139. 2. Okay. So there's only two there. Can you see that? Alright, so now we're going to go to day 2. And it's going... I'm trying to see if you can see it while I write. Okay. So let's do it like this. I'm going to fix this paper and put it underneath so you can see directly under. Okay? I thought that was sticking up and it's not. So again, it's the child of God. It's a 10-day devotional. So it's 2 Corinthians. Do you see how I write when I'm trying to like write fast? Sloppy. And then some... 9411. Okay, so that page is done. So that's all we need from here. Now we're going to go to here and do day three. Click on it. Okay, I hope you don't mind me doing that. Um, Galatians. Did I go on the second line? One, two, three. Yeah. So Galatians 520. Through 26, Ephesians 5. Starting to get that scratchy noise. I don't know why. 513 and Ephesians 210. I think we're in Ephesians 210 this month too. Um, day 4. It's going by faster now. John. I'm just going to go ahead and do it on the top. 15.5. That's day four, so we're going to do day five. It is Romans. 12.2. Um, Isaiah. 55.9. Romans again. 5.8. You know what would be good, uh, good too is like soap study in this each day, but that's a lot. I mean, I'm not asking these guys to do that, but it is a lot. So the sixth day is, or it says I miss days. It's not really. I go ahead and I do this. Let me see how many. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I'm going to have to do like James 117 on the same line. I don't know why I do that with the I. I make an R. 2.16 is 1 Corinthians. And I know that we're in there as well. And then the next one is James 1.17. Again, that's going to be on the same line. 1.17. So how many do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so yeah, so I'm going to have to keep. Oh no, we have three left. Okay, so that should be good. One Timothy. Six six. Yeah, we we're fine. Philippians. Four twelve through thirteen, and the last one is Hebrews. I could do it on the same line, but I'm not gonna. Cause I mean, I have that sticker there as well. 13.5. So that is it. And then, like, day 7 has a couple. Day 8, 9, and 10 has a couple. Oh, day 9 has only one. Day 8 has two. 
But that is how you're going to find it. Hello, my name is. And if you are curious to... Uh, uh, let me go back home. So you're going to look for the... Um, and it smells already right. Just like that. That's all it is. And then it has like... I don't know, two lightning, I don't know. It has images. I don't know if I have any. Oh, I saved. Whatever I saved is in here. Matthew, he has risen. Be kind, affectionate to one another with brotherly love and honor. Preferring one another, Romans. And so, there's this one. What was that one? Okay, so, oh, that was pretty. There's this one. So, it has a lot of good stuff. Any bookmarks you did? I don't know if I did any. Yeah, so I did some bookmarks. Um, some notes. You added a note. I don't know what I added though. So there's a couple of notes. It has this is um you version of the Bible app. I have friends. I'm not gonna show you. I mean, if you want to be a friend on here, just look for my name. I don't think I did any. Oh, I did two. I'm thankful. Oh, I did a couple. Oh, these are the people that did it. Oh, sorry. These are the friends that did that. Okay. And then we did images. Let me show you the highlights. You're going to see I highlight everything. Like, I literally just highlight. Anytime I read a verse, I highlight. It's not even in color. There's the badges that you get. You get 1,000 highlights, um, 50 bookmarks, 10 notes, 150 planned subscriptions. So I did, like, I guess the, what we're doing now, 50 planned completions. So I add a lot, and then I choose a whole Bible. I have not did that yet. And five share verses, and I've shared verses. And then history, it's just like all the scriptures that I'd be looking at. So that is the U version app, just to give you an idea. So, but we are on the plan of the child of God, child of God again. So if you're looking for what the images are, unpreferred a journey, unpreferred a journey to discover you are God's plan A. You know how there's a plan A and plan B? We're plan A. We're not going to be no plan B with God. And then God guides you. And then God is with you always. So there should be five. One, two, three, four, five. Oop, and that's what that one looks like. <laughs> Where God guides you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. Actually, I'm going to leave this open. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you in the next video. So again, um, stay tuned. I'm going to do a lot more stuff. I'm looking at doing... Friday's uh, live streaming. Oh, by the way, um, did I not write? Oh, yeah, I did. I was going to say, I know I wrote on this side. Um, so I'm thinking Friday's for live streaming, but I'll be 100% sure by like Friday. And I forgot to tell you, these three are like what you're taking from the verse or what stood out to you. What it's um, keywords, so any keywords that stand out, you can study on those. So there's so many things you can do in studying. So uh, this video is very long already, 23 minutes, almost 24. But like I said, you could soap study, you could study it, you know, pick one or do them all. It's up to you. And yeah, so I do scripture, write it. I said I wanted to keep it open. So I do scripture, write it, and then... Um, yeah, so I do scripture right in the devotional. Every time I get a devotional, I scripture write it. Each one, even if it's a lot. So thank you, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.